Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. I am the old school game snob, and in today's video, I'm going to show you an extremely GG find that I found just the other day, and I also share with any new players just a word of advice in terms of some of the things you might sell to the vendor that could be worth a fortune. I have done it before, before I knew better, and I've heard stories of other players doing this as well before they knew better. And so this is one of those things to watch out for, and maybe we'll expand on this a little bit later, and uh, I'll show you some other things that look like vendor trash, you know, or, or might look that way, uh, but actually, you know, could be worth a small fortune. So let's jump into this video. Now, this was found in the World Stone Keep Level 2 from one of the uh, unique bosses. There we go, a nice blue, bo blue boy, Banebrow, I think was his name. He was so kind as to share with me a grand charm of special variety. You know, we've all rolled so many grand charms, I wasn't really too keen to look at it. It's like, all right, another piece of trash, but no. <laughs> there it is. Plus one to combat skills and plus 37 to life. Now that plus 37 to life is only 8 away from the maximum possible 45 to life, and life is one of the most desirable secondary affixes on a skiller charm. Now that is what we're going to talk about in this video. You may have found some of these in your travels, poison and bone skill skiller, or oh, even a war cries barbarian charm, or some other charm for some class that you don't pay, play and thought this, this is useless to me. Just throw it, throw it to the vendor, sell it to the vendor, right? I've done it before, and I've heard stories of people who have done this before, and that is what this video is about, because skiller charms are one of those things that you may underestimate the value of. So here is a chart that I put together on rune trading value. If you didn't see that video, check out my channel for rune trading values. This is an approximate range. The market, of course, changes quite a lot over time. But uh, the charm that we just looked at would be trading somewhere in the high two to three high rune range. So this could trade trade potentially for an, a couple of low or sir runes, or maybe even a burr or a jaw rune, or something something somewhere around there. It could even trade for more. It really depends on how seasoned the market is and how rich players are. Um, to put that into perspective, something like an Oculus, uh, which a lot of you are familiar with, the Oculus. A uh, sorceress item would be maybe trading somewhere around an ist rune, maybe a gull rune potentially. Something like Talrasha's uh, armor would maybe be trading somewhere around a vex plus an ist, give or take, maybe a little bit more than that early on. Mm -hmm. Something like chance guards or gold wrap might be trading somewhere around a lem or a ko or a couple of ko's or a lem or even a pole or something like that. Again, depending on how early it is in the season, mage fist, somewhere around a ko or a lem or something like that. So just to give you an idea of what the value of a high rune is and what the value of some of the skillers that you might come across could potentially be worth. Okay, to give you a better idea of what skillers can be worth and which ones are the most desirable, I've put together a little bit of a chart here. Please let me know in the comments if you think I've got any of these wrong. I am not a master of all classes. I tend to be too obsessed with sorceress, but as best as I can figure, this is sort of where all the skillers rank into. So in the S tier, we of course have the Paladin Combat Skiller that I just found and just showed you. That is probably the most desirable charm straight up. Um, the Sorceress is only maybe slightly less desirable, maybe even on par with, with Paladin Combat Skiller. Any of the Sorceress Skillers are really considered very, very good, with Lightning maybe being slightly better than the other two, but only very slightly. In the A tier, which is again only slightly less good than the S tier over here, we have Assassin Traps, Necromancer Poison and Bones spells and avalon javelin and spear skills again all very very good all of these are very very good you know i think i might move druid elemental also into the a tier it's you know kind of right in between a and b tier probably at the top of b tier uh, in b tier we have also very useful skillers uh, and in the C tier, we have kind of what are considered to be the lower end. And in the D tier, we have uh, almost useless skillers, not very desirable skillers at all. So B tier includes uh, maybe Druid Elemental, Necromancer, and Summoning skills. That's somewhere in there. Uh, Paladin Offensive Auras, Druid Shape Shifting, Druid Summoning, uh, Shadow Disciplines. Again, this one maybe might be closer to A tier, but uh, it's at least a very solid B tier. Uh, martial Arts, Amazon Passive Skills, Barbarian Masteries, Barbarian War Cries, 
In the C tier, we have Paladin, Defensive Auras, Amazon Bow and Crossbow Skills, Barbarian Combat Masteries, and in the D tier, we have Necromancer Curses. So this is a rough a rough tier ranking, and again, you might disagree depending on what class you play, and if you do, let me know in the comments how you think I might improve this little chart, but overall, I think this can give you a pretty general idea of where the different skillers rank. So in the B tier, in terms of value on just a skiller charm without any additional affixes, you would probably be trading right around the um, maybe the mal, maybe even the ist range, somewhere from pull to ist, somewhere in the B tier. That's kind of what you would be looking at. Uh, into the A tier, you could be trading into the high rune range, maybe multiple high runes. That's right around your your one dollar mark if we're thinking of, of of fiat currency. Your sir, your low, and your ohm. Uh, if you get a good secondary affix on the charm, it could be worth multiple high runes. Something like I just showed you the. Uh, Pally Skiller with, with life on it could be worth multiple high runes. Um, so yeah, B tier can kind of be thought of right around this range here, anywhere from the uh, 5 to 10 cent range. You know, if we were to talk again, nickels and dimes instead of runes, somewhere around the 5 to 10 cent range, maybe 20 cent range. And if it has a good secondary affix, potentially a lot, lot more. And then, of course, C tier is probably around your Ko's and your Lums, and maybe even a little bit more if it has a good secondary affix, maybe quite a bit more. Uh, and again, maybe the D tier, uh, you would be looking at, you know, a stack full of perfect gems. C tier might be a stack full of perfect gems type thing. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where you're looking at. Anyway, that is the takeaway from this video. Don't throw away your skillers. I'm going to put this little chart on d2links.net if any of you want to check that out again. I've also got the rune chart guide on d2links and some other helpful uh, d2links. So yeah, see you all in the next video.